Well, uh, today we are at the Homestead Miami Speedway with uh, Dominic Infanti from Subaru, and uh, I understand it's your birthday. So, is this yeah, the way you celebrate every year? Yeah, so I rent <laughs> I rent a racetrack and I, I drive cars around for my birthday. It's a good way to spend a birthday. Yeah, bring some uh, of your uh, yeah. <laughs> of your friends here. And like, thank you for including us there for that. So, we are. Uh, I understand we're driving. We are the first persons to drive the new WRX STI, right? The 16s. Yes, these are these are new for 16. Well, not new. We they came out last year, but we've got some modifications to the cars. They've got a brand new head unit system in there, better navigation, we've really improved that. It's the same system as used on our Legacy and Outback, so we feel that's a big step forward. That was like one of the weak points of that car. Yeah. Um, the other difference is that the WRX now you can get with 18 inch wheels, it was only available with 17 inch wheels before, and now you can get EyeSight, that's our safety system EyeSight, that is now available in the WRX uh, on the automatic only, but it's this dual camera system, very, very strong system. Uh, it'll completely stop a car if it needs to, uh, and it's the highest ranked system by the IAHS. So how, how does that work? I mean, that you said it completely stops the car up to like at every speed or how does that work? Well, it, it, it is always working and we say it works. It, it can fully stop the car if there's a, a 30 mile per hour well, or, or, or avoid a collision if there's a 30 mile per hour speed differential. So it's, it works from 100 miles an hour down to 20 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. It, it's always on, but we just use that because the surface may be slippery so we want to give ourselves a little bit more room. But the car, if it does see something in your path and it, and it comes to a dead stop and you're not paying attention, you don't see it, the dual, it's dual cameras mounted above the windshield and it will see that and it will apply the brakes to stop the car. So what does the system identify? Objects, uh, animals, persons, or what, what does it? Correct, and it, and it can identify them at speed as well, which is a nice thing, but yes, it can okay. identify like adults, even very, any large dogs, very large dogs, I guess we say, bicycles, etc. It'll start, a, it'll start really there's something coming into your path, but also, once again, it's very, very good, good if a car stops short suddenly we're not expecting it. You know, and then also adaptive cruise control runs off that system and essentially it'll basically allow you to maintain a certain distance. We, we have a three mode system, you can get closer or farther, etc. But essentially it'll slow you down if the car in front of you starts slowing. And actually you can you can use the adaptive cruise control will also bring you to a complete stop if the car is stopped in front of you. So as well. the car is gonna either like completely stop and avoid the accident or like mitigate yeah. I mean like, like mitigate the, the possible collision. Correct. Right? And, and the nice thing about our system is also you can drive around it. If you are coming up on a car and it starts slowing you, it sees something, and you want to change lanes and accelerate, it, it, you can drive around the system. So okay. it, it's there until you override it. It will take complete it. control of, of, of maneuvering the car. It will if you allow it to, but if you want to take over, you always have control at the end of the day. And this is one of those new technologies, safety technologies, that some people like have to really try, and at the first time, you really have to make an effort to trust it. <laughs> because you Correct. Say, like, am I doing this right? You have to believe in a system, and yeah. it will, will work, and that's why we come out here where it's a safe area where we can test and you can see that it really will work. You don't have to do it with live cars. But, like I said, if it does happen and usually it's a surprise situation, yes, it will do that. Um, it, it's a nice system because, like I said, it is it is ranked higher. It is a dual camera. It doesn't use radar. So a little bit quicker reacting than some of the radar systems are. And that's why it's ranked number one by IHS? Correct, yes. Well, that and also because it, it we mount the system inside the cabin with you, so it's the safest part of the structure. A lot of the other systems are mounted in the grill and the, and the bumpers. And if you are in a, a collision, it suddenly turns into a much more expensive proposition in terms of fixing the car. Whereas ours, you know, ours remains safe with you because that whole safety cell is designed to, to remain intact in an accident. So uh, a lot of the Subaru, I don't know how, how many, but recently pretty much all of the new models are like top ranked by IHS and all the all the safety testing, right? Sure, all of our cars are top safety pick, and actually any of the cars with the eyesight system are top safety pick plus. Um, you need which that, is that you which is the highest. You the need highest. to have this type of a, of a system uh, to, to get a top safety pick plus ranking. So Subaru is bringing, I mean, always the fun of the cars and the all-wheel drive system and all that, but now they're making them like safer and safer. I mean, it's pretty yeah, much the safety, whole package now. Safety is a very important aspect for us, and we're becoming more, I think, more known as a safety brand more than we were just an all-wheel drive brand before. I think now people are like, oh, wait, there's no differentiator here. Subaru builds these really, really safe cars, and they're very reliable. They're great long-term ownership. We get very very high rankings in terms of our, our resale values, in terms of consumer reports, but ALG, KBB, if rank cars, car cars are the highest in resale value in their segments, and uh, in terms of consumer reports, they're some of the most reliable, safe vehicles you can buy as well. And you bring, I mean, all this new uh, safety technology is included in every model? I mean, you're bringing yeah. it all the way down? Even in WRX and even in BRZ and in Impreza, you know, these are things that we're offering, uh, you know, to the, to the full range of you know, we have the great safety systems built into all these cars. 
and um, you know the, we want to bring this to the most affordable area we can. That's why the Impreza has it. Yeah. You know. Uh, and that's a car that starts around twenty, right? Yes. Yeah. In the teens. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And then, but with the, the, these systems are optional. They're not standard. They're not standard. No. But they're they not that optional. very expensive either. No, it's roughly about dollar of charge. But we're seeing very high take rates on like Legacy Now Pack, which came out with them first. We're seeing you know roughly by you know. Yeah, I guess as people are like learning more about it, maybe hearing stories about it, like when people say, like, "Oh, the car stop itself." Uh, I it, mean, that, it, that one, one of those things marketing, I guess, you have huh? to become aware of before uh, you know. Obviously, that there's a desire to have it. But once they, and what's very good with ours, we, the people who do have eyesight in their car, we've surveyed them, and 80% said they would recommend it to another buyer. So uh, pretty much is everything. The whole lineup for Subaru is pretty much new, right? I mean, you're like everything has been redesigned. Um, you know, this year we have no new launches in terms of product, but uh, we'll start again next year. But you're constantly renewing your your lineup, and uh, right now we're kind of finished. We have a, uh, uh, some downtime. We're working on a on a three row seven passenger SUV right now that will be coming out in a couple of years, and we've got another few things coming out next year as well. So you had one. You had that. one. One three three. Seat, uh, a seven-seater SUV like seven, a Triveca, right? Like yeah, seven, seven passenger, passenger, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that didn't didn't do very well. It did, it did okay. It was, a, it was a good product. I think we didn't design it as well for that segment. You know, it didn't have the same roominess, the same third row capability that other products in that segment did. We've learned a lot from that and uh, a very Subaru way. We talked to our owners, we found out what they didn't like, and we worked to improve that. Well, I hope the interior keeps like more or less the same because I really liked that one. It was like a, very a, a, jet, a, yeah. jet, a jet cockpit, really, yeah. and it was very fun, but a very competitive segment. And like yes. If you, I mean, it's a huge investment to do a car that doesn't sell, right? Correct. And sedans and, and then the, uh, the, the the SUV market are the two most competitive segments right now. So, so the the another final question about the the WRX. I noticed that the ones that we're driving here at the Homestead. Um, they don't have the big uh, spoiler in the back. That's like something new too. So yes, for the first time for uh, for 16, you can get the STI without the really big spoiler. So in the limited model, you have the option to have the spoiler if you want it. We'll put it on, or you can have it uh, without the spoiler. Yeah, I think I had one of those a few years ago, and I was actually stopped just because of that. I wasn't yeah. doing anything wrong. You look guilty. <laughs> well, I always get guilty, even without your car. So. I, I like the big spoiler, but you know, it does. It does. So uh, Subaru has been like. In a, in a rise for in sales in the U.S. Uh, and I guess around the world for a long, long time. How, how long is the record? For about now? seven years right now of of, uh, of straight growth, and we've essentially doubled. You know, since 2005, we've doubled the amount of vehicles we sell um, in a very short period of time. Uh, and you know, we sell more than Volkswagen, more than other big brands that you would it's imagine amazing, it would really. be. Yeah. So uh, it's been slow and steady, though. We haven't um, used any tricks. We just hard work, and we price the vehicles very sensibly. You know, we don't have to. Really a lot on incentives and it's because we did we we took our medicine and we did it the right way so i guess with the new lineup i guess at least another seven years of growth well, uh, no, we hope so <laughs> <I'll come with. laughs> thank you very much dominic we're gonna keep enjoying it here and thank you, thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.